But one of those 6,000 people is Newt Bueller, who in 2018 was kind of a big deal. He ran for governor and lost to Kate Brown. He's best known for his role as an Oregon Republican and for his goatee. But during my interview with him today, only one remains. He told the New York Times he left the Republican Party on the same night officials passed that false flag resolution. I think there's a lot of Republican office holders that are uh, relieved, relieved that there is someone who is speaking out about the nonsense, about the, the wackiness, uh, about uh, that there should be no uh, place in the Republican Party for conspiracy theorists, uh, that the Republican Party should be people who are focused on solving real problems for people who are suffering, suffering mightily in the state of Oregon right now, uh, suffering with uh, unemployment, with the challenges of, of COVID, with not having their kids in school. Those are the types of things that they want to be talking about. And but you're not they're happy that there's someone out front, you know, uh, bringing attention to those issues and, and not the conspiracy theories. But you're not in the Republican Party anymore, are you? So you're not really a, a Republican standing up for those things. You've said, I'm out. I'm, a, I'm an independent now. Yeah, but I, th I think there, there is a relief that there is a voice uh, of reason out there that's saying that there are Republicans who believe in solving the big problems and that all Republicans uh, uh, don't believe in this kind of conspiracy theory uh, that has been peddled recently by the, the Oregon Republican Party. So do you consider yourself like a pseudo Republican still? Are you kind of uh, a still rep a Republican at heart? I don't know what. Uh, a Republican means it anymore. So, is it a big deal that Bueller is out? Well, that's up for you to decide, of course. There, a more conservative Republican actually might be happy that he's leaving the party. I asked him why he left the party instead of trying to fix what he thought was wrong with the party, and he said he's already tried that and that he won't be running for office ever again. He's a doctor. He'll be fine. But he did also have some interesting takes on the future of the party in Oregon, and I'll be working on that for tomorrow.